let it kick off and get super hard and just itching to get into it. I really just want to build this rudder. <laughs> it's happening pretty quick how quickly it shapes up. Well, this year it started out as a nightmare. Is there any way we could seal that? A mooring Nanji was tied to failed during the night and our home ended up high and dry on the reef. Fuck. We managed to save our Nanji and get her back to the boatyard where we have been completing repairs. Oh, it's got to get worse to get better. This ordeal had been extremely traumatic and very exhausting. However, Nanji is not going to fix herself and with limited time on our visas, there is no time to self-wallow but rather tackle the task head on and get Nanji sailing again. There were four compressions in the hull that I have since operated on. Oh, that's so brutal. And now I have Thai contractors completing the replaking of the hull. Very good. Meanwhile, I've started the construction of the new rudder. Ever so carefully, Get him. I dissected the old beat up bent <laughs> rudder to copy the construction design. How interesting, look at that. With a new stainless rudder staff made and delivered by a happy tie fabricator, I've been busy cutting, grinding and screwing the plywood core to build the general shape of what will be our new rudder. So I finished gluing together all the bits of ply to build up the actual uh, size of the rudder. So cut that out all to fit. Uh, everything's all clamped down. It's, it's a little bit thicker than the old one. It's a little bit heavier because I've built it a bit more solid, but I think that's a good thing for Nanji. Everything's pretty solid on Nanji, as we've seen found out. So now yeah, I've finished off putting the uh, putting these bits of filler in on the side and top here. Uh, that's just to make a shape because I'll bevel that edge back. But so just letting this set and really kick off before I start finalizing and shaping and then sanding it back and making it ready to glass. I'm just trying to be patient. I only did this epoxy filler a couple of hours ago. So I shouldn't really start sanding it, but I'm like, just itching to get into it. So I'm just trying to relax, let it kick off and get super hard and trying to keep myself busy by doing something else. But I really just want to build this rudder. <laughs> It's happening pretty quick, how quickly it shapes up. Which is really good. Bit of a surgeon with the old four inch. But for here, I'll use the big nine inch, or the seven inch, sorry. Um, just because it's a bigger gradient, I want to get that nice big straight edge. So I'll, I'll take off this back edge a bit and then I'll use the big one so I'm using a whole bigger area. So I should be able to get that more uniform and a big flat surface. Uh, yeah, this is looking good. Yeah. That solid hardwood front edge, I think was a good idea. That's all combined really well. So solid. Super happy, but I kind of, I have my marks here for where the auto prop kind of swings in because we need to dig out a bit in the prop. Uh, but I got a bit excited and cleaned it all up and I looked at it like, wow, that looks amazing. Oh my God. But yeah, I've lost my measurements. So you're going to put it on and then cut it out? So we'll have to put it on and just try to mark it and figure it out that way. Yeah. I have to say a massive shout out to Mark and Rose Mark's the captain of a super yacht over in Phuket and after our live chat he saw that uh, we were struggling to get anti-foul and he was sitting in his office at the time looking over at all this black anti-foul thinking, hang on, I've got black anti-foul, I can help. <laughs> so what a legend, him and Rose, they packed it up and they spent a weekend over here in Krabby, they came over for the night and had a bit of an explore and brought us over some black anti-foul and brought us over some more epoxy and some more filler which is, uh, I was... Bang, almost banging my head because I bought all this stuff in Phuket and I need to figure out where I was going to buy it again from. So like a massive shout out to Mark. You haven't slowed the process of getting work done, which is exactly what needs to be done. Cheers, mate. Legend. Very, very exciting morning as I've been shaping up the rudder and I've just put it on for the first time. That looks awesome. Oh my God, that. that is amazing. You've done such a great job so far. Yeah, it's still got a bit of shaping today, but I just wanted to put it on so I can measure up where the prop will go through that front edge. And I figure if I put it on, I can get that back edge nice and parallel and uh, have the same angles and everything coming at each other. But yeah, so you have to cut that bit out as well before you... Yeah, so cut that bit out of the auto prop. Yeah. I'll just measure that up. 
Awesome. Seems like a rudder though, doesn't it? My God. I suppose you want to see it. <laughs> oh. Look at that. You just got to measure where the prop goes through. This front edge is a little bit longer than the previous one, I reckon, looking at that. Look at that. So put it on the back here so I can see this back edge. And this way when I shape it, I can make it even because I can look at it both sides. That's the idea behind it anyway. Right. Keep going. I just want to centre and back up again so I can... Huh? Keep going. Righto. It's a lot of rudder. Seems like way more than last time. But it's what's needed I suppose. Yeah. Something like that. Righto, let's do this back edge. Sanding back the rudder was probably my favourite part of this build because it really took shape. Once I had a good shape, had a good foundation, it was then it was time for glassing. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of footage of the glassing because it was in the last week to get the rudder done before we need to get out of the country because of our visas were expiring. So instead, I've got a little model here and I'll take you through how the layup of the glassing went. I wanted to lay out plenty of layers of fiberglass onto the rudder because I wanted to make this thing bulletproof because when you're at sea, the rudder is under a lot of force, especially if you've got a bit of a blow or in some heavy seas. So the rudder really needs to be super strong. So I plan to lay three layers of glass on each side of the rudder. I cut around a piece of glass and then on all these little tabs, making everything square so it can then fold and wrap. So I made this, the glass bigger than it needs to be as all the edges then need to be glassed up. The rudder was then placed on a couple of higher points. I wet it all out and wet the piece of glass out and then layer the glass on top of the rudder. And then all the seams would wrap around like something like this. So then that one whole side would be fully covered and then we would let that sit. It'd basically take about a six hour interval between layup, grinding, and by the time I could do the next layer. So once the first one was done, I let that cure overnight, and then that began the process of what I would do for the following few days to get this done. It was basically about a six hour window, so I'd wake up early in the morning, I'd grind back to make it all smooth again, to, to clean up this backside. Once it's been grinded, I could clear off all the dust, and then I'd get my next piece of glass, and I'd lay it on top of this side. The exact same but opposite so it would wrap around. So each of these edges is then getting a double layer of glass. The only real bit of footage we have is through the phone while Benita was making Instagram stories. On our second layer on the second side. So we've nearly done two full layers on the new rudder. Come on, Yash. Two more to go. Yeah. So once I grinded and glassed in the morning, that took a couple of hours. I would then let it set all day, and then around three, four o'clock in the afternoon, I'd get stuck into it again. And I'd do the grind and then do the layup. This would take about three hours. So I'd finish in the dark, normally at about 7, 8 p.m. It was quite a mad rush because we only had the limited time on the visas to get all this complete. But we managed to build it up, and at the end, putting the, that last little bit of anti foul on top, it was just such a good feeling. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that gave you a bit of insight about how I made this rudder. I'm super proud that I tackled it myself and it is durable. I'm proud it can, it can undertake anything it's thrown at it. If you like this video, please click up here to subscribe to the channel. Click over here, there'll be plenty more videos coming out and the boat work is nearly finished so Nanji gets launched very soon and oh what a day that was. In the three week turnaround we had to fix the boat, we did it and we're very proud of what we've been able to achieve. Back in the water. Cheers, legends.